I'm back. Good after the fuck noon. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? You already know who it is. Back at a brand new video for you guys today. Happy Monday. Missed y'all. Hope some of y'all missed me. Hope y'all had a good, nice little holiday or whatever. Bam. Uh, but without any further ado, we better check out Disney's Mulan official teaser trailer. Listen, y'all, Disney, they going crazy. We are about to relive our childhood. All I'm going to say is this. All of my 90s, early 2000s, baby, make some motherfucking noise right now. Make some noise. That's right. That's right. That's right. This is lit, y'all. I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all heard about uh, The Little Mermaid and the controversy behind it because uh, in this one, Ariel is going to be a sister. But, um, I mean, if you, you don't have to watch it if you don't want to. So, you know, you're not obligated to go. But anyway, let's go ahead and check out this trailer. Go ahead and subscribe right now. Send me some reaction requests. I'd appreciate it. But let's go ahead and check out this teaser trailer. And okay, in about a three, two, one. I'm excited. Here we go. We have excellent news. The matchmaker has found you an auspicious match. It is decided. Come and sit down. It is what is best for our family. Yes, I will bring honor to us all. Oh, y'all, here we go. Quiet. Composed. Graceful. Disciplined. These this music, are the amp. qualities we see in a good wife. Let's go. These are the qualities we see in Mola. Let's go. It's my duty to fight. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to go back and obviously watch the cartoon version of Mulan because it's been a while and I'm I'm excited. I mean like like y'all you have to understand, like if you was born in the nineties, okay, and I guess early two thousands you could say, you know, these, we had we had some dope ass movies. We had dope ass cartoons. We had it all. I mean, SpongeBob is still on to this day. Okay, SpongeBob has been on for twenty years. Twenty years on Nickelodeon. Okay, that's a long damn time. Mulan came out two years after I was born. That shit is crazy. Like, wow, wow, y'all. I mean, it's just you know, it gets you all emotional. I ain't emotional right now, but you know. It's, I can tell it's going to be good. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, all right? Comment below your thoughts on this live-action Mulan. And uh, what's some other live-action animated uh, Disney movies that you guys are looking forward to seeing? Let me know in the comments section below. I think they might be doing one with Hercules. Uh, might be doing one with Princess and the Frog. I don't know. Somebody here says something about where's Emperor's New Groove. Look, y'all got to do that with justice. Emperor's New Groove. Come on. Some, who don't remember that? Who's go? What's his name? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Break it down. But who gonna play Yzma though? Because if you guys, if you guys didn't know, you know Yzma, you know the voice of her uh, character, Eartha Kitt. Uh, you know she passed away, R.I.P. Uh, a couple of years back. So I mean, you gotta have some. Who the hell is texting me? You gotta have somebody with a very distinct voice. You know what I'm saying? Like with characters and stuff, especially if you're gonna be doing voice acting, you gotta have that voice with it. You know what I'm saying? You got to, you gotta have it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have that umph about it. You gotta have that spark when you playing these characters. You know what I'm saying? That's just like Mufasa. Can't nobody play Mufasa like James Earl Jones. I don't give a damn what y'all say. Like say for instance, they was gonna reboot SpongeBob, right? And they talking about we gonna hire somebody else. Not Tom Kenny, I think that's his name. Tom Kenny or Tom Kennedy, something like that. I think it's Tom Kenny. But anyway, I probably wouldn't watch it because who in the hell could do SpongeBob voice like Tom Kenny? Please let me know that. I'll wait. Don't worry. I'll wait. But yeah, y'all, don't mean to ramble. Um, Yesterday, I saw Annabelle comes home. That shit was crazy as hell. All I'm going to say is 
like this was pretty much like again like the early stages of Annabelle you know because Annabelle she had had quite a few spinoffs didn't she Annabelle Annabelle recreation now Annabelle comes home um, then the conjuring three will be out next year I think and then something about the crooked man now, I don't know if that's gonna be in the conjuring three or is he gonna get his own movie or something like that then they'll probably make another nun movie now they're gonna have to take their time with this one because I mean in the first one don't get me wrong it was good but you know what I'm saying you're gonna have to like you know, all they really did was make her walk around in shadows and shit and chase after people. Y'all gonna have to come correct. Somebody call James Wan, okay? Somebody call him. And once again, if you guys have anything I can react to for you guys next, please let me know in the comments section as well. Subscribe, follow me on my Instagram, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Taylor Rain, I'm out this thing.